Now at noon, under investigation, an active shooter incident near Wausau left four people dead, including a police officer. 911 dispatch operators and police radio moments uh, captured the moments that an officer was shot along with people inside an area business. Rebecca Clough is live in Weston where the suspect got into a standoff with police. Rebecca, what can you tell us? Good afternoon. This is the apartment complex where an officer was shot and killed by the suspect. Police knew they were dealing with an, act, with an active shooter when they arrived here. Shots fired, shots fired, officer down, officer down, shots fired. An officer yelling for help near an apartment complex in Weston. About 15 minutes earlier, the whole situation started a town over in Rothschild at a bank. I have an open line 911 call from 1133 East Grand Avenue. You have a female party streaming in the background. While police were responding to the calls for help at Marathon Bank, another 911 dispatcher got a call from a woman at a Subway restaurant behind the bank. I have an RP on the line at Subway. I said that there's a female party there and she's claiming that her husband's trying to kill her and her husband's at the bank. Police started calling for more help. Get a couple county units. This could be an active shooter. 1133 East Grand Ave. We have two parties that are down. Uh, gunshots, wounds are requesting more meds be paid. 911 dispatchers sent ambulances over but told them they had to wait until they were sure it was safe for them to help. The names of the four victims, including the police officer, have not yet been released. Reporting live in Weston, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. Hey, Rebecca, we know that there had been word that there was going to be an early morning news conference today, and then that has been sort of postponed indefinitely. Any, any idea what the holdup is on that? Uh, no, uh, I just actually talked to the Everest uh, Metro Police Department. They say they're just gathering things, and uh, they will do a news conference as soon as they are ready and able to. Obviously, you can see behind me that officers are still at the scene here. All three scenes still shut down, still have police tapes surrounding them. So active investigation still going on today. All right, thanks, Rebecca. Just so chilling to hear these uh, 911 counts. Well, there's still a lot to learn about what set off this deadly chain of events. Uh, Lauren Winfrey continues our team coverage. She's outside the police department with a look at where the investigation stands right now. Hi, Lauren. Vincent Elise, I'm right outside the Everest Metropolitan Police Department where a news conference is expected to take place sometime this afternoon. Now, the time of that press conference has not yet been announced, but what we do know now is that four people are dead following Wednesday's shooting spree. Now, this all started with a domestic call Wednesday from a bank in Rothschild just before 1 p.m. That turned into an active shooter call, and minutes later, law enforcement responded to a similar call at a law firm in Scofield. And finally, they track the suspect to an apartment complex in Weston, and that's where I am right now. And like I said, at this time, we don't know when that news conference will take place, but several people have come here to pay their respects. A small memorial has started with several bouquets here outside of the police department, and we've noticed a lot of people bringing food. Three communities overall were affected by yesterday's shooting, and hopefully we'll have more information once this news conference takes place. Live in Weston, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4. All right, thanks, Lauren. Well, 